This story, I've got to be honest with you. I, my, one of my great sort of quiet res, reserves of, of pride in, in, in the nation is that despite politicians who come and go and, and are perfidious and, and mendacious and, and, and third rate, there are usually something at the departmental level, you know, the, the foreign office, the civil service, the, the traditions. There's, there's a, a degree of the smooth kind of velvet purr of the Rolls Royce engines underneath all the you know, the, the noise and the jangling, loose panelling on the surface. Do you still have faith in no, that? No, I don't. I really feel like this is absolutely, this is like a banana republic kind of uh, effort. I it? mean, look, remember, we're also, one of the whistleblower, uh, he talked about this in this, this is in the mail, Afghan rescue flights were hampered by a work from home culture in Whitehall. Mm. I mean, it mm. might not have happened a couple of years ago, but I do find the old idea that, you bet, listen, we'd love to help save yeah, your family yeah. from the Taliban, but we've got to go and pick up the kids from school, yeah. this sort of idea. And so I think that that probably didn't help. Um, and there were 5,000 unread messages in the inbox at any given moment with desperate subject lines such as, please save my children. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you could say, well, maybe people thought these were those sort of mails where people have been hacked. Yeah, <laughs> you Nigerian go, oh, I'm, bank managers. I'm stuck in Manila yeah. with my whole family yeah, yeah. and all my, and my money is all gone. But essentially... I was reading about William Hay talking about working at the Foreign Office and he said holidays, he never had a full holiday in all the time he worked there because there's Listen, always... I've there's... interrupted family holidays to come back and do a corporate. I have. <laughs> Emily, it used to be a real point <laughs> of contention. How <laughs> selfless of you, Simon. If only you were working for the Foreign Office. Yeah, but yeah, you could have taken 11 days yeah, off. I mean, there's always something going on, but you'd imagine that the fall of Kabul and Afghanistan yeah. would be something they'd actually go, actually... I might mm. actually come back from holiday. And like you said, it seems like they came back to Britain and just carried on holidaying in Britain for yeah, five days. Yeah. Now, come on, mate. There uh, are people who have helped the enough. British government and have been working for the armories, the interpreters, and they're in trouble. And